Hello everyone, welcome back. It is the new year and I'm starting it off with cabbage rolls. We're gonna take cabbage leaves, we're gonna soften them down a little bit to make them pliable. We're gonna make a meat and rice mixture that's gonna go in, we're gonna wrap them up, put them in a baking dish. We're gonna put a delicious sauce across the top of them. Then we're going to cook these and let them just stew. Oh, it's gonna be so delicious. One of my absolute favorite dishes. Y'all ready? Did I get your mouth watering? Let's put this together. To make the rice, you're gonna need a medium saucepan with a lid. We're gonna add one cup of water. You wanna turn that on high heat. about an eighth of a teaspoon of salt so we can flavor that rice. All right, we're gonna bring that to a boil. As the water comes to a boil, we're gonna add half a cup of white long grain rice. Now I'm using a basmati. You can use whatever you like. Just give this a stir. Turn your burner down to a low heat. Place the lid on. We're gonna cook it for 15 minutes. While that's going, we're gonna go ahead and start our cabbage. Now I have a large pot and I've got about two inches of water. We're gonna place this on a high heat. So while the rice is cooking and we're getting our water in our large pot up to boil, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at our cabbage. You wanna leave it whole, but we wanna go on the back side of it and remove that core. So I'm just going to use a very sharp knife. Now I have a knife sharpener here. I'm just going to run it through it a few times. And then we're just going to wipe the blade. I'm going to come down here. I'm just going to take off a little piece of the core. Just make sure you hang on to your cabbage. And then just kind of go around until it pops off. Now I'm just going to kind of place it on the, the head of the cabbage. Take your knife and just be very careful and just kind of go around the core because we want those cabbage leaves to be whole because we've got to wrap stuff in them. Just be very careful and go slow. We're done with the knife. Just gonna take a spoon, go in. I can hear it popping in there. That's good. There we go. All right, now as we place this into our pot of water that's boiling right now, the steam will go into the leaves and help soften them up to make them very pliable. Place your cabbage into the boiling water. You want it the core side down. Be very careful, you don't splash yourself. I'm just gonna place a lid on it. Okay, the rice is done, so I've turned it off. Let's fluff it up a little bit. I'm gonna put this into a medium bowl. Just fluff it up. We're just gonna let it sit in there until our cabbage leaves are ready. So you wanna leave your pot on with the water boiling and then you're gonna start peeling off the leaves. I'm gonna lay the cabbage leaves on a sheet pan lined with some paper towels just to kind of help drain them off. Just be gentle, because you want the whole leaves. Just make sure you peel slow. Start on one side, and just kind of work your way around. You want to lay them out, that way they cool down a little bit for you. Now while the rest of the cabbage is steaming, we're going to make that mixture that goes inside of the cabbage leaves. So we have the cooked rice that we already have in the bowl. We're going to add one egg. We're going to cut up one onion. We're just going to dice it up. That way it cooks evenly. 
and it gets nice and soft in the mixture while it's cooking. The whole onion, it's just a medium. I'm just gonna make slices. Then run my knife through it to make the dices. This recipe goes back many generations and it's very simple, this recipe here. My mom made this recipe when I was young all the time and then I took over the recipe, but she got it from when she was young. Her grandmother would make it. It does go way back. I make it for my family and they love it. All right, we're gonna add that to the rice mixture and the egg. All right, I've got about one and a half pounds of ground beef we're gonna add. I'm going to season with a little bit of salt, probably about a quarter of a teaspoon. I'm just estimating here. The same thing with the black pepper, a quarter of a teaspoon. I got all of my cabbage leaves off, so they're just sitting there cooling down a little bit so that we can easily manage those. I'm going to add a little garlic powder all the way across the top. We gotta flavor these things. And some parsley flakes. Lots of parsley flakes. I'm gonna put some gloves on and I'm gonna mix this up. All right, in we go. Another one of my favorite New Year's dinners I made last year was porcupine meatballs. And the cabbage I cooked separately and just sauteed it down with chicken broth, butter, salt, pepper, and some garlic. But I love porcupine meatballs too. All right, we're gonna start rolling our cabbage leaves. All right, so I have my steamed cabbage leaves right here ready to go. Got my meat mixture and then also you want to have ready a 9 by 13 baking dish. Now I'm preheating my oven at this time to 350 degrees because we're getting so close to putting these in the oven. All right, if you want to take a cabbage leaf and just lay it out on your work surface. I'm going to grab some of the mixture, using about a third of a cup. Place it right in the center. Now I'm going to use the same measuring tool here. That way they're all the same size so they cook evenly. Now what you want to do is just pull in the sides. Then you want to pull in the back to the center there, then you're just going to roll it till it makes a nice little pocket. We're going to place this in our baking dish. And then we're going to line them all up. I guarantee you these won't last the day. Now, squish them on in. Got to squish them in. Make room. Now you want to make sure you're putting them in your baking dish, seam side down. I got a little bit of meat mixture left in here, which is what you want. We're going to add two cans of tomato soup. Now, these are 10.75 ounce sizes. We're going to add it to the meat mixture that's left over in our bowl. I'm going to fill one can up with some water. I'm 
about three quarters of the way up. I'm just going to stir this around, get all that excess tomato out of there. And we're going to pour it in the other can. Stir that up. We're going to add that to the mixture. We're going to season with some black pepper. A little bit of salt. Garlic powder. Same seasonings that we had the meat mixture. parsley flakes. And we're going to blend this all together. Yeah, this is the good stuff right here. This is going to steam all along the cabbage rolls and add some delicious flavor. I'm going to bring the cabbage rolls back over. All right, kind of move these, centralize them a little bit. There we go. Pour the mixture all over the cabbage rolls. Make sure they go down the sides. There we go. It's easy as that. Push this one off. There we go. Make sure the cabbage rolls are nice and covered with it. We're going to cover this with foil very tightly. We do two sheets. These are going to steam on the inside. I've got my oven preheated at 350 degrees. We're going to bake these for one hour and 45 minutes to two hours. I'm going to come back. I'm going to show you how I'm going to finish these off, what we're going to eat these with for New Year's dinner. All right, I'll be back. There's my cabbage rolls an hour and 45 minutes later. Look at that saucy gravy that you can put with your cabbage rolls right there. Here's my bite. All right, what do you think of our New Year's dinner? <laughs> Lunch dinner. We've got mashed potatoes and gravy, corn, and then the centerpiece, our cabbage rolls with that delicious tomato gravy on top. I'm going to cut a bite for you. Oh, look at that. There you go. Mm. I wish I could make these all the time. But you know, I gotta make new stuff for you guys. Oh, it's very warm and comforting on the inside of these cabbage rolls. They're nice and soft. That rice just plumps up. The little bits of onion in there, mm, it's really good. And I love that tomato gravy that it makes, really delicious. All right, y'all let me know what you're having for New Year's. Give me a thumbs up, 
make sure that you comment down below. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you stay tuned. Hit that subscribe button. Y'all, I will see y'all on the next episode, 2023. Happy New Year's.